All right, uh, workout 1167. We have an imam today and we're working with a one and a half back goblet squat, okay? So if you don't have a barbell or anything to work with a back squat, don't worry, we can work with a goblet squat, meaning you're gonna be holding it in posterior chain, so right in front, okay? And then we do have two eight minute uh, workouts uh, and we'll go over that in just a second. So just for your warm up to cover the muscle groups that we're gonna be using for this workout, we have squats, we have sit to stands, we have push ups and step ups, okay? So I want you guys to go ahead and do three rounds of the following just for um, range of motion, okay? So your arm swings, try to do these every time you're about to start working out, okay? Moving around, go for 10, then go across for five and then five across the other way. Range of motion going across your body, you do a total of 10. On the last two, try to hold and stretch at the bottom here for at least 20 seconds on each side. Okay, and then next, go for your good morning. So they're also really good. And then forward and back leg swings, full swing, opening up, and then side to side also. Okay, so this is just general range of motion. Try to make that a habit before you work out for any workout. It's your entire body opening up, loosening up, okay? Now, for your warm up, I want you guys to give me three rounds of the following. We're gonna go ahead and start with your straddle stretch sit-ups, okay? And you're gonna give me 10. So you're gonna roll back, open up your legs and shoot through for 10. That's gonna be your first movement. Second movement, we're gonna go for push-up position, okay? I want you guys to walk yourself back to your feet walk yourself out to your plank and do either a snake push-up or a full push-up and back up okay so you'll do 10 straddle stretch sit-ups i'm sorry yes yeah, straddle stretch sit-ups and then five inch warm push-ups and then following after that i want you guys to take that right leg back okay and lunge and kick so reverse lunge and kick making sure that that opposite leg is staying nice and flat you're gonna do a total of eight on the left and then a total of eight on the right. And I want you guys to give me three rounds of that. That's warm up. Now, to get ready for our skill, we have a uh, 10 minute imam. So we're gonna be doing six reps of one and a half uh, back squat or goblet squat every minute, okay? So six of them, that means that every minute you have 60 seconds or a 60 second window to complete your one and a half, six one and a half back goblet squat. Okay, so this is my goblet squat here. I don't have a barbell with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a one full and a half squat. That's one and two. Okay, so one full squat up and a half stand one and a half stand okay so that one and a half is one rep you're going to be completing six of them back to back and you have to complete them within that minute that's your one and a half you're going to be doing six of those every minute for 10 minutes so lots of activation through the glutes through the leg making sure that you're keeping your toes nice and flat on the floor and pressing off the fat toe as well, okay? There's a lot of connection between your toes and your glute muscles, your hamstring muscles, so make sure that you're not rotating those ankles out and kind of bringing the toes off the floor. Um, when you're done there, shake it off, get prepared for your workout. You have an eight minute workout, then one minute rest, and then you repeat that eight minute workout again, okay? So the workout. You will do five sit to stands, and the reason why we did those straddle stretch sit ups is to work on that momentum rolling back. Now, instead of bringing our legs out for a straddle stretch sit up, you can keep them together. You want to use your hands if you have to to bring yourself back up. You don't have to use your hands if you're not required, but it's a lot of momentum forward. Feel free to cross your legs and lean into the side if you have to. Okay, you're going to be doing five sit to stands. We did our push-up or inch-long push-ups because we have push-ups in the workout. So five sit to stands, 10 push-ups, and then 10 step-ups. RX is weighted, so that means you can hold on to the weight if you're doing weighted step-ups. I suggest that you guys have a very sturdy chair, a very sturdy 
ottoman or just a surface that you can step on. I'm gonna show you on my couch, but don't do it on your couch, okay? Um, simply because it's so squishy, right? It's not flat, it's, it doesn't have that support for your ankle. So it could turn your ankle out, it could even turn it inward. So don't suggest the couch, I'm just gonna show you what the range of motion looks like. One leg all the way up, press at the top, and switch, okay? Use a bench, use a sturdy chair, anything sturdy. Um, you have 10 of those. So five sit to stands, 10 push-ups, 10 step-ups. You're gonna do as many rounds as you can in eight minutes. Then you're gonna rest for one, recover, and go at it again for another eight minutes. And you're gonna pretty much sum up your rounds and your reps for your squat, okay? So those are your three movements. Um, have fun with it. Let me double check, make sure I'm not missing anything here. No, that's that. Um, and feel free to, oh, we always promote stretch post-workout, okay? What we do is range of motion at the beginning in a warm-up. If you have a foam roller, foam roll before workouts and then stretch post-workout, okay? So just a gentle reminder on that one. Uh, enjoy it. Bye, guys.